Hey everybody, this is Brandon with Universe Wheels and I've got a quick update on my 144001 speedrun car slash budget basher slash cool car. Anyway, this thing's kind of been, um, I don't know, on hi hiatus for the last month uh, due to a couple little things. One, I've been super busy. Two, when I'm not busy, it seemed like the weather was getting the best of me and, and it was raining or something, so I couldn't do a speed run. Another thing is I broke my charger, so I had to get another charger, so I couldn't charge the three cell batteries that I run. Uh, but don't worry, it's going to be up and running in the near future, pretty soon. Uh, and I was just going to show you a few things uh, in case, you know, you haven't watched my other videos to show you what this thing's all about. i am flip my screen around. Okie dokie. I'm in my bedroom so the lighting's not the greatest, but uh yeah, if you haven't seen this car before, it is a twin motor uh WL Toys 144001 14 scale buggy and I've kind of converted it over to a speed run car. Uh let's see. I'm running these th Z three cell batteries and two speed controllers one uh i think one's a 60 amp and the other one is a like a 35 amp or something but it, the lower lower amp one runs this ducted fan motor which is motor number two and then the other i think the 60 amp is running this nine turn leopard uh, brushless motor and running some foam contact tires and uh, that's really about it I had to put a three wire servo on this thing and a lot of people ask in my past videos which one it is so I will be le leaving a link for the um, servo because you have to if you want to switch to a brushless setup you've got to switch the uh, receiver and everything and you've got to upgrade to a three wire servo. These servos are micro servos they're not very powerful but they do the job uh, for a speed run you just need it to go slightly left or right. It's not like a drift car or an actual race car. And this is the radio I'm using. It's just a cheap Fly Sky FS GT3B on these receivers here. Eh, let's see if you can see it. Boom. It's kind of focused. Yep, I mean, that combo is pretty cheap. So, let's get back to it. Anyway, the problem I had last time, I was running the twin motors on one three cell. And I don't think it was getting the full power that it gets out of an individual three cell per speed controller. So my next deal is I'm going to be stacking these three cells. And it's basically going to be a six cell rig. So it's going to be a twin motor, six cell, speed run car. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the upgrade. Oh, I forgot to say I do have a wheelie bar in this thing. Cool little wheelie bar. Whoop. I'm doing this camera thing backwards. So uh, yeah, near future you'll see this thing up and up and running. And um, I guess the rest of this video, I'll show some footage of my last USGT race. It was a, uh, I'm talking about, I got second place barely. Me and uh, Paul, the guy I race with, he was leading uh, for the majority of the race, and I ended up catching up. And I'm talking about it was point zero four tenths of a second. Or was it 0.4 tenths? Yeah, I don't know. One of those. It was very close. It was like a bumper. I had half a bumper. But, uh, yeah. I'll show you that race now. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel and my other RC content. My bumper. Right there to go rip course. Next sound you hear will be the start of the six man main for USGT. Of six? Hmm. We're really 
touch a three point clean through the sweeper. Um, headed for the switch back. She'll be the first one by the line. Brandon Harrison be following it. Slipping from last year, found it out. Third and fourth. Uh-oh, go ahead, go ahead, man. Her Julian Don't wait, don't wait, don't wait. What happened to you now? I bought it good. All right. Damn, dude. Ooh, Paul got some. Throw it in the garbage. You got some nitrous on that thing. Fucking It's just stocks. There's no boots. Had to change the lead there. Had Paul take the lead. Brandon, Cliff, Tom, Joey. Fast lap around so far. 12.95. Paul asked you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There y'all go, y'all can have it. I did see that, Tom. I'd seen that one. Still got 453 to go in this drive. Look. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna catch you now. That right there is gonna give Paul a pretty sizable lead of about four seconds over Joey. Five seconds overtime, six over Brandon. Still tipping up. Oh. Just got 1342 for Paul. 1376, Joey. 1353 for Brandon Field. 36. Gap between first and fourth is eight seconds. Closest battle on the track is going to be between Brandon and Tom. Yeah. Be the silver car coming into the switchbacks, followed by the beer can going into the switchbacks. Car on the lead, top of the straightaway. Go low, come on the straightaway. Clear. That traction rule right there really gets Brandon back to third. Roughly four seconds behind Tom. Paul Askew nursing a four and a half second lead with three minutes 30 to go. How'd we end up with a six minute main? He was seven minutes. Yeah. There goes that, that uh, Pike Barnes. Sounds pretty good. Zero lap around 11.75. There goes that Type R. That gap right now is going to be 1.5 seconds with three minutes to go. Woo! Paul 133, Tom 13 1, Brandon 12 8, Joey 14 0. I knew it, man. That's what happened last time. You got me. Cars going into the sweeper. That is your battle for the lead. Red, white, blue with the yellow with the middle and light car behind it. Turn partial on the track and the switch backs. Clear. 233 to go. Looking like 1.8 seconds for Paul up front. It's like me and Tom always battling. Yeah, I can get body up on the big bird. I think an extra half inch off in the back. Exo tough. Two minutes to go. That lead grows that lap. 2.1 seconds. Let's see what it is this time by. Looks like Tom caught him a bunch. The gap is one second between first and second. Oh, a little model of Hocus Pocus and Paul lost focus. That's going to get a lead back to Tom. Minute 50 to go. We've got the blue and white 21 oh, out front, followed by the red, white, and blue current, or Corvette. Oh, Paul asks you in second. Brandon's the silver car in third. Joey's the Florida Gator theme car. Makes way for the leader to get by. Tom stretching his lead out 2.8. See what it is this time by. 4.2. Tom's got it on cruise control with a minute 25 to go. Still picking them up, putting them down. 11 8, 12 8, 12 7, 14 3. Yeah, I'm good. What happened? Oh, you wanted to. Uh... Tom. Hey. Hey, he set me on the wrong side of the pot. <laughs> One minute left. All about the competition. 
for Tom. I just want a traction roll, because that's all I do anyway. I do, dude. I trade rolls right over to the <laughs> 45 seats go. Tom, Paul, and Brandon. Tom with a 1.6 lead. Little Paul. Down between Paul and Brandon. One second with 30 seconds to go. It's a whole lot closer than that on the track. Let's see if Brandon can get by him. Two cars on the straightaway headed for the sweeper. That's your closest battle on the racetrack. Fourteen seconds to go. That gap is six tenths. Brandon took a bunch out that time by. Does he have enough time and enough car to get? Oh, that finish, man.